guys, it's me Mike, and today I'm going to do another video tutorial that I haven't done in a while. Um, I figured I'd just show you one that I made, and uh, it was featured, I mean not featured, but I uh, kind of made this with uh, Zara 3D6 and Photoshop CS4, and basically I just put like an image inside the text with 3D shapes, or 3D lettering, and put another background uh, in the back with a... Uh, uh, color saturation, I think it is what it's called, uh, hue and saturation. Alright, so I just want to show you how to make some cool graphics like this. So, I'm going to head into Zara 3D6, and, uh, if you don't have this, you could download it on my website. And, um, I did post a way to get it for free, but some people's not able to get it right for some weird reason, so, I'm sure if you just look up, look it up on YouTube, you can find it for free. Anyway, so I picked out a, a reasonable text that I'm going to use that's, you know, bold and, you know, has enough space in it so I can put an image in it. Um, so the text I'm using is called Emmet, E-M-M-E-T-T, -T. and, you know, you don't want to use, you can use something small if you want, um, depending on what you want and the effect you want to do, but I'm just going to use the Emmet and um, press OK. And next thing you want to do is select this little color option right here, right underneath the um, text option. You want to make sure it's all the way down to black. It's going to look like this, but don't worry about it. Alright, so I'm going to select text faces in this drop down menu, and I'm going to switch it over to white. So that's going to change the face of the text to white and the background to black. Now, if the background of the black doesn't look, you know, the way it should be or the way you want it to be, click on this little option right here where it says show and highlighting just click on that, it's like a little light bulb and what you want to do is bring these little arrows you know, just bring them over to you know, where you're working at like that, bring it to like the front face of the text so as you can see the, uh, the black gets really black and it doesn't have any of the lighting so basically I'm just controlling the lighting situation in this text and if I click that light bulb again there's the text I want and if you want you can uh, rotate it to see if it looks right you know to you and the way you want it to be presented in Photoshop so I'm going to leave it like that where it's based in between the text like that and where you can see some 3D in it so if you want you can put it like that like a bird's eye view of it and I like that, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm going to go to File, Export, or Control Shift E, and I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it Black and White or BW Mike Text, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG. So select the drop down, select PNG, press Save. All right, so I'm gonna use the user defined option right here so my current width is 1440 by 900 that is my overall um, desktop screen resolution and if you want you could do current window size it's just gonna narrow it down but one thing I did make a mistake on I'm just gonna close this out for one minute there's a shadow in it and I don't want the shadow in it because it may alter my uh, design in Photoshop so I'm gonna select the shadow option and uncheck the shadow so that just takes the shadow out entirely Alright, so I'm going to go to File Export again. Um, call it BW Mic Text. And press Save. And like I said, use it to find 1440 by 900. That's my screen, screen resolution. Yours may be different. Alright, um, make sure it's selected on True Color. And make sure it's select, selected on uh, Transparent. So basically, there's not going to be any background except your text. And press save. Alright, cool. So after it saves, you want to jump right into Photoshop. So this is my sample that I made. I'm going to go select File New and I'm going to put in 1440 by 900 because that's a, that is my wallpaper size for my desktop. And like I said, yours could be anything. Alright, so first off, I'm just going to double click on that background layer, unlock it, and double click on it again and give it a gradient just going to select the uh, black gradient 
like that and next I'm gonna go file place and it's gonna select my PW text mic and press enter so as you can see there's no background in it it's just the mic text so if you want you can control T on it and, and you can resize it if you want and press OK alright so uh, once you got the text the size you wanted to you're gonna uh, first off you're gonna place another image inside this so go to file place again and we're gonna go and select a cool image so I'm just gonna scroll down to where I have all my cool desktop wallpapers at and um, let me see I kinda like you know this abstract thing right here so I'm gonna select that see press enter to you know place it there and next what I'm gonna do is place the mic text above that image layer and I'm gonna select my magic wand tool and I'm gonna select this uh, uh, option up here where it says add to selection and then I'm gonna select the white inside the mic white inside white inside white inside and white inside and right now my tolerance is at 18 but usually it's set to like 32 or something that should be fine unless you have another uh, more white inside the black and then things will get a little hectic but you know this works perfectly alright so select my move tool again and what I'm gonna do is rasterize the, uh, the image this rainbow background right there rasterize it and then what I'm gonna do is uh, Control shift i and then I'm going to hit backspace alright so control D to deselect and I'm gonna place my image background right on top and there you go so as you might see it's a little uh, white inside of the uh, text so uh, what I'm saying is that there's like this white border around it it's from, that's from the um, that we cut out the image so what we're gonna do is double click on that image the um, image layer the rainbow one and select stroke and as you can see it fills in pretty much everything right there so and right now we're gonna give it a little added effect we're gonna give it an inner shadow and drop the top um, the distance to zero and if you want you could drop um, increase the size to 10 and press ok and you're pretty much done now uh, you're done with the text layer now to give it another added effect we're going to go file place and we're going to go to another background and we're going to just place that right there and we're going to put that below the text layer and uh, and go back into the layers and we're going to select both of the, the, the black and white text and the image text that we created and we're going to link them so that way we can move it without it being two different layers like that. I'm going to select the background layer and I'm just going to increase it just a little bit. And I'm just going to bump it up right there. Press enter. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. So that was just some, a simple, uh, not image manipulation, but uh, you know customizing your text and everything like that in photoshop so i hope you like this video please subscribe rate and give me thumbs up on this video and if you have any suggestions for future videos please let me know in the comment box and i'll see you guys later peace